Yellowstone hotspot track, ancient super eruptions are significantly larger than expected. And we have the entire cliffs here, mountains of ash. The entire cliff would have been deposited very quickly from fast moving current of hot gas and ash. That is, this is a cliff from a pyroclastic density current. You can imagine, look at this, this mountains full covering areas of Wyoming, Montana, Idaho. Extreme temperatures of 900 to 1000 degrees Celsius caused the ash to weld. It welded to the ground, effectively enameling the area in dense volcanic glass. And we note that the ancient topsoil has been baked to an orange terracotta color in response to the intense heat. And that's what gives it that color. Now, this is from phys.org, University of Leicester, or Leicester, as we would say. Now, the number of giant super eruptions between 8 and 12 million years ago in Yellowstone that could be larger than the colossal eruptions known to have taken place there have been identified in the United States through research led by University of Leicester of the UK. The international research team suggests that while the number of volcanic eruptions sought thought to have originated from the central Snake River Plain in Idaho, that's the craters of the moon, just uh, west of uh, Yellowstone, is less than previously believed. The 12 recorded giant eruptions were likely significantly larger than research has previously suggested. I finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. You can imagine what took place there. Amazing. Now, Dr. Tom Knott, Professor Mike Bradney, and uh, Dr. Mark Reicho from University of Leicester's Department of Leicester, I would say, Department of Geology Volcanology Group, conducted the research with a team of international collaborators from the University of California, Santa Cruz, the University of Copenhagen, Denmark, and Idaho State University. Using a multi-technique approach, including whole rock and mineral chemistries, paleomagnetic data, and radioisotopic dates, the team has been able to finger point individual eruption deposits and correlate those over vast regions, that is, for example, a th thousands of kil square kilometers. In establishing widespread correlations, the team drastically reduced the number of eruptions previously thought to have originated from the central Snake River Plain by more than half. The researchers reported that one of the super eruptions from the Yellowstone hotspot track, defined as the Castleford Crossing eruption, occurred about 8.1 million years ago and estimate the eruption volume to have exceeded 1,900 square cubic kilometers. The single volcanic sheet covers an area of 14,000 square kilometers in southern Idaho and it's more than 1.3 kilometers thick in the caldera of the supervolcano. This is just one of 12 giant eruptions reported from the area by the Lester team who show that intense hotspot magnetism caused major crustal subsidence forming the 100 kilometer wide Snake River Basin. The team also demonstrates that these eruptions were in fact significantly larger than previously thought and may rival those better known at Yellowstone. So the Snake River Plain in Idaho had huger eruptions than the Yellowstone eruptions, super eruptions. Dr. Knott said, while it is well known that Yellowstone has erupted catastrophically in recent times, perhaps less widely appreciated is that these were just the latest in a protracted history of numerous catastrophic super eruptions that have burned a track along the Snake River eastward from Oregon to Yellowstone from 16 million years ago to the present. The size and magnitude of this newly defined eruption is as large, if not larger, than better known eruptions at Yellowstone, and is just the first of an emerging record of newly discovered super eruptions during a period of intense magmatic activity 
between 8 and 12 million years ago. And again, here we have images of the Idaho Snake River Plain ash deposits. As you can see, mountains full of this. Uh, you can imagine what took place there. So these were bigger super eruptions than the ones that we had in Yellowstone. This is on uh, phys.org by University of Leicester, Leicester, Leicester of the UK. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.